Welcome back to Wolf Dog Empire. Please don't forget to subscribe and ring that bell. It helps me out a lot. Today we're going to show you a great hero, four star hero red. Her name is Soon. She is uh, really good with uh, against Titans, but she's just good overall. She's a great four star hero. And here she's a fighter class, so uh, she has a chance to revive uh, Kingdom Family. There's a bonus there for one, two, or three heroes. Uh, 2%, 4%, 6% mana each time a minion is summoned for the hero. So you can put her uh, around some other um, minion heroes like Lubu, uh, Holda. Dio Chan, so they have all three of those, and um, also with one, two, or three heroes, uh, two percent, three percent, four percent heal each time a minion is summoned for the hero. So that's really good, therefore, uh, a really good synergy with uh, heroes um, from this family that put out uh, minions. Um, so maybe not Lubu because Lubu actually does fiends, not minions. But definitely uh, Holda and Dai Uh She's got a morale boost in that War of Three Kingdoms. And um, let me see here. Special skills. She's got a... Uh, she deals 280% damage at the level that I have her now. Uh, to the target and minor damage to nearby enemies. The target and nearby enemies get minus 44 defense and a further minus 4% decrease every time they are hit during three turns. So that's huge, especially against Titans. Um, that's a, a big uh, defensive down there against Titans. Against other heroes too, but especially big against Titans. And um, if you put her up there with uh, the Red Guardian, Guardian Falcon... Uh, that's elemental down, so so you set off um, Guardian Falcon, and then you set soon uh, off right after, and I mean you're decreasing the defense down for uh, those three turns greatly against that Titan. So she's awesome there. So I've been leveling leveling her up. Uh, let's see if there's any red we can give her now. Yeah, so I have her at uh, Limit Broken. She's still at 70, but Limit Break. So we'll try to get her up to 75 in the next few weeks. She also has uh, 14 on the Talon Grid. So she's on her way up there. She's a great hero to have. Let's also see if there's uh, anything for Finley. We just picked up Finley. Actually, I, we, I picked up uh, two Finley costumes. Um, so we're going to try to level him up. And uh, at least one of them at the beginning. Later on, I'll probably use two together. Since they have um, this synergy here with um, Pirate Family. If you have two, three, four, or five heroes in the same pirate family, you get a plus three or plus six or plus ten or plus fifteen percent attack, and a two, four, seven, or twelve mana generation. So that's huge there for finally we can get a few of his buddies out there, and um, he's not completely leveled up, so he's going to get even better. But that bottom one there, the all hit targets get minus 42% defense for three turns. That's huge against Titans. So I already put him in my Titan team. Um, he's kind of strong enough to survive some of these the Titans that we're um, going up against right now. But I look forward to leveling him up and uh, really helping us out uh, against the uh, Titans there. Let me see. There's Garden Falcon there. He's the one that gives us that elemental defensive down. And um, right after I set him off, I want to set off uh, soon 
and that's really gonna help us out there. Who else do we have here? We got some purples. Let's do Treeville for those three star events. Treeville is awesome on those three-star events. Uh, he's also pretty good against Titans. Um, he, I, I had Gil Ra leveled all the way up and fully em emblemed, but I'm thinking that I'm going to use Treeville, especially in those three-star uh, events, uh, because he looks a lot stronger. Um, I think I might even use, I have five Treevilles. I have six, but I just use one to level this Treeville up. But eventually I wouldn't mind even having all five and just throw a team out there with just five Treevilles. Um, let's see here. He's a bonus family. If you get two, three, four, or five heroes in the same family, from the same family together, he gets a, uh, they can get a five, 10, 15, or 20 critical chance. Uh, plus four, six, nine, or thirteen percent healing, depending on how many you have. So that's uh, that's pretty good there. And um, he deals two twenty damage to all enemies at this level here. But I'm gonna get him up. He also does minus forty two percent attack for six turns. So that's really good against um, enemies, but also against titans. And then all enemies get minus forty four percent defense for six turns. And all enemies get minus 32% mana generation for 6 turns. So eventually I'll, I will use him instead of Gil Ra. But with the, let me see if I can find her so you can see. She dispels, but uh, this is fully emblemed up. Um, all enemies get minus 34% defense for 4 turns. So Treeville does more. All enemies get minus 34% attack for four turns. Treeville does more. So she dispels, but Treeville is just um, a lot better. So let me see these yellows. Why don't we level up Wolfgang? Do one more and then, well, we can save it for later. Uh, on Wolfgang here, <clears throat> where I have him now, he he's ascended to three level 12. Um, the really important thing here is the wolf family. If you have two or three heroes of the wolf family, he uh, gets 35% or 50% chance to make a cast buff undispellable. Uh, this is huge. Uh, I do have Wolfgang and Quinell, so if I use uh, them too, then it's a 35% chance to make a the a buff undispellable. And uh, Wolfgang's his buff is at the bottom here. After four turns, the caster boosts health of all allies by 540. So that will be huge. If somebody doesn't just uh, dispel that buff, uh, boosted health can exceed max HP. So that's really good. So even if they're at 100% HP, he's actually going to give them that temporary HP above that. So um, that's really good there. But some people can, some enemies can uh, dispel that and then he won't heal them. But if you can get three... Heroes, it'll give you a 50% chance to make that buff undispellable. So if you don't have Quinell and Ludwig, I have Quinell and Ferent. So I might try them out if I see too many people uh, dispelling um, this health. Then I might just uh, throw in a third wolf hero 
to try to give myself a higher percent chance that it, that it will be undispellable. And for Quinnell, so I got her ascended to three, level four. She, her skill is already at max eight. And she's also Wolf Emma, she, so she has the same bonus two, three heroes to give you 35 to 50 percent chance to make a cast buff undispellable. And her buff is that the she gets an additional plus 40 percent power for the next special skill they cast. The additional power increases plus 40 percent each turn up to a maximum of plus 200 percent in total. So even at this um, low level of uh, leveled up that I have Quinnell, she's already doing 320% to the target and nearby enemies. And on the second time, if I wait enough turns, she can be up to 200% extra. So that's 520% damage to the target and nearby enemies. If I just wait that, for those turns and if somebody doesn't dispel that buff but again if you get two heroes which i have it's 35 percent chance that it's undispellable and if i get a third uh hero like ferrant in the in the team that'll give me 50 percent chance that quinnell's buff doesn't get dispelled 50 percent chance that wolfgang's buff doesn't get dispelled and so and of course, uh, whatever Farron has. So that's a really good synergy there. Although right now what I'm thinking is if I can get a costume Finley and a team with kill hair costume and three healers like Alexandrine, Holda, and Dio-chan. We can get some minions from Dao Chan and Holda healing and tanky healer with Alexandrine or Esme if there's fiends out there trying to kill my uh, minions from Dao Chan and Holda. Then we can get Esme in there and uh, we can just heal Kill Hair and Costume Finley and Costume Kill Hair, of course. And then they can, those healers heal each other, those minions protect each other. And I think that might be a really good defensive team. So I look forward to fielding that team soon. Right now I have a team, defensive team of um, Alexandrine at level 85, 20 emblems. Russell, 85, 20 emblems. Viscaro, why don't we... We need 682... Let's see if we can bring the engine back. There you go. So, and then, um, so we got Viscaro, Alexandrine, uh, Limit Broken, 85, all emblemed out up. Russell, uh, again, also 85 with Limit Break, 20 emblems. And um, right now I have Chow and Melendor. Um, what happened there is, for a long time, I got no five-star yellow heroes and no green five-star heroes. So I had to use four-star Chow and four-star Melendor. And so I had them fully emblemed out. I had them limit broken. All the way up to 75 so they're doing uh, well for me but um i did pull wolfgang and quinnell and holda so what i'm thinking is replacing yellow chow with five star wolfgang replacing green melendor with green quinnell five star and then if I need another healer, because Wolfgang does um, have a buff to heal, but if I ever do feel like I need a, another he uh, healer, then hopefully I'll have Holda um, leveled up enough to where I can have her replace um, Viscaro when I just don't need Fiends if I need more healing instead. 
So that'll be a, a good um, team. So I'm working towards that right now. But I also have a fun team with, I have two Finley costumes, two uh, Kale Hair costumes. So I do want to um, try to field the team with with some uh, Finley and Kale Hair costumes and some, and some minion healers out there. So that's going to be interesting. I haven't even leveled up Poseidon too much just yet. Um, but look, and I have four Silverias. She's uh, good. I haven't even level, leveled her up yet, but working on it. Lee looks super strong, so I'm bringing him up. So I'm doing that. Hopefully in a few weeks, I'll have them uh, upgraded a little bit more. So uh, thank you for watching Wolf Dog Empire. See you next time.